I always love a good challenge, and today's challenge is to build one of these, a candlestick phone. Yeah, I did a drawing and uh, a rendering of what we're going to make today. I have got an assortment of all kinds of bits and pieces from the prop shop. We got this, we got some coat hangers. Let's assemble and make ourselves a candlestick phone. One of the cool things about this is I save a lot of stuff that we throw out in the garbage, and we have a recycle center really close by our home. So there is just tons of stuff. You know what? That is gonna make a really cool knob for a cathedral radio. I'm gonna save that for that. So, and then we have some tubes. So this one's kinda of nice. I really like that one. You can put that on there. There's the base. Look, look at this. Hey. All right, we are rocking and rolling. You can already see a candlestick phone being created. So we need to do some assemblage. That would make a great rotary. Let's application of feel of clay. Feel of clay. This, this stuff just sticks to anything. I mean, you, you get. I've made a box for a another photo shoot, and I was sh shocked how this clay just fuses to anything it touches so you've got to be careful you don't want this stuff on your socks you don't want this stuff on you know your your floor so check that out look at that look how perfect that is on there dang that's a part of the design already and yeah, I want to make sure that's kind of level look at that already a perfect start now once we're going to we put that in there, we're going to let that dry for 24 full hours, and then we're going to work on that. But we can also today, we can make a rotary today, and using with a coat hanger, we can actually make the receiver part. I think I'll just go right into that right now. Actually, I love the way this looks. I'm going to fuse this to here. Now, I could actually use hot glue to put that on there. So let me put up the hot glue gun, or you know what? Maybe not even, because it's so light, I could actually just use a white glue. So let me go get a white glue and start on this. Okay, so I got myself my white glue. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a toilet paper tube, and it's very, very lightweight. And amazingly, it fits right over this. If you're wondering what this is, it is a jelly. It's a type of candy for kids. So basically, you can just pull the top off and eat that. And I'm going to paint the interior of the tube quite heavily with this white glue. And let that tack up for a moment. And then I also want to paint this edge. Going to assemble them together. Perfect. We'll push that down. We're going to let those both dry and then we'll work more on this. Next, really cool part is the rotary of this. And actually, I was born in the 1970s and we had a rotary phone in our house hooked to our wall. Could you imagine doing that with the cell phone today? No, exactly not. Here, I can still feel my finger on the rotary. Um, I have two types of plastic lids. This is a sour cream one. This is a, more of a softer one, and I have a harder one. The problem is that with the harder one, there is a uh, recycling number on there. I know you can probably see that right there, the triangle. So I don't want to use that. I want to use this one. Now, it is a, uh, the recycling thing over here. However, the size of our rotary is going to fit uh, over this. So we're going to make this a little bit smaller. So let's start cutting this down. So I looked at the size of our candlestick phone. Here I got a can. It's got a beautiful round center. It fits perfectly over the area we want. And the thing we want to make sure of is right there is the center of our, our rotary. Keep that on there. So we want to eyeball that as best as we can. Get that guy right on there. I think we did it. Of Japanese bonsai scissors that I bought over in South Korea. 
cuts like a charm. Great. A rotary. The next challenging part is putting the holes in here where we want it. So we have to find out where the holes go and to figure out which ones was the ABC, da, 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 all the way around, and our little finger stop that they have. And here I have the sour cream label thing, and I have a template that I had made. And they say, I'm gonna just put that right over there. You can see it kind of overhangs, which is no problem, but we wanna make sure that they are aligned. So I'm gonna be looking up here to this, into the light, and it's gonna be right there, okay? And apply our glue I'm using a glue stick nothing more now you have two options here with this you can actually cut out the circles or you can leave the circles here and then do an illusionary faux finish to create the illusion that that actually is cut out so I kind of like the second one because it's just going to be in the background cutting this to size and then letting the glue dry on our rotary. Making sure it fits the plastic. And we might want to add something in there later. We may want to add some decoration. And we also got to add the stop. So we're going to let that dry and then we're going to paint all of this and even add the numbers by hand. Get out your 001 brush. Now while all that's happening in the prop shop, we are going to build this part, which is where the phone hooks into. And my two favorite things to use, soft aluminum wire and feel it like about an hour and a half ago, I put this assemblage together. I had this and this and we used some glue and right now it is beautifully dried. What we want to do today is we want to create the handle piece that's going to go like that over our our phone. So we got today, we got some wire and we've got our feel of clay. The only thing that's very important is to make sure that when we create that handle that it is approximately the same size as this because we're going to build a base on the top of this phone so it's going to hold it. So let's measure out the size and the shape of our candlestick phone. Give me some wire here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this wire. Uh, if you've seen my other tutorials, I made uh, a set of antlers that are just, I'm surprised how really well they came out. But I'm using a soft aluminum wire today. Uh, you can get this at any shop that sells, even craft stores, craft stores sell this, craft stores sell this, I love it, it's great stuff, you use it mostly for jewelry making, uh, twist it a little bit around, get some kinks in there, okay, and we want to measure out one side, okay, measure out one side, Mm -hmm. And this wire is going to go back this way. And we make the loop here. Bring it right back down. Follow it. Bend it around. Bend it around. Bend it around. It's in the center now. Yep. That's going to hold that quite nice. Look at that. It's going to hold that quite nice. So now let's add our feel of clay over this. Now, in my other tutorial, I actually show how to attach the clay to the wires. And we're going to be using the pull method, and I'm wrapping the clay around the wire. This is very important because you cannot, you cannot just like lay it in there. You've got to attach and coat. 
don't worry about slapping too much of it on there because you can always take it off. But it's just the idea of coating it. This is the most important part of using wire. And we could not, oh, you can see as anything that touches fuses. I, I keep mentioning that in all the videos. As long as, you, as long as it touches, it fuses. I'm using a glass table here too. Uh, in the workshop, use always a glass table and uh, nice and cool glass. Nothing really sticks to it. If you get paint on here, you can always scrape it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now wrap this bar. Okay. Now that I've got that completely coated, I am now using my, my fingers to create thinness because the candlestick phones did not have a thick holder. So we need to create a very thin holder. And this is where the, the shaping of the product comes in and you can get to remove clay now well, a little haircut to oh so you can see we have some wire out there just shaping it to size I want this much thinner than this and I also would like to have two round I guess they call them finials the, the part that holds the cup. So let's see how this is going to be. Whoa. Yeah. That's going to work quite nicely. So I need to create two oval finials over here. I don't want that exposed. And now I want to shape this down. Kind of look like a stick on a eyeglasses. Okay, I'm going to do the other side just the same. There's a lot of shaping going on. Uh, in prop making, the most important thing is to try to create the consistency of the product. You're doing labels, same thing. You want to have the time period right. So my small amount of research on candlestick phones. This was quite thin, actually. It was just, just a very thin, punched out piece of metal. And there were two holes on either side. And I'm going to see if I can replicate the holes. I'm going to take the time out to, to do that. Let's make the holes in that. Now I'm still smoothing. I am using a paper clip and I want to get in here and create a hole. I'm hitting the wire. There it is. Okay, we punched through it just like we're making a you know, earring hole. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Once you got it where you want it, you let this dry for a full 24 hours, then we're going to paint it. Going back to our dial, I am using today a flat black number 999 Alpha. I like how this has got the nice sheen on it. So let me finish this completely and I'll show you what it looks like. There it is. Okay, and we're going to let that dry. I found this really sweet, soft piece of cardboard from the bottom of the box. And what I want to do is I want to trace around the edges completely of this as best as I can to create the circle. It's kind of an odd shape there, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. We're going to put that on here as a topper, and then we're going to put a feel of clay around there, and that is going to create our phone. Clean that up a little bit so you don't see that. And bingo, it goes on there quite nicely. Now what we want to do is we're going to use the feel of clay. You don't even have to glue it on there because 
as the feeler shrinks, well, we could always glue it on, and we can always we can always add some glue to that. I'm just gonna use a glue stick. Put that on there. Don't necessarily have to because huh, you never know. Put it on there. Second guessing myself on that one. And then I'm using the feel of clay. I'm going to create a nice soft ring. We're gonna put it around the foam. And also we're gonna actually add a little bit more to that. I think that no, it's not gonna be enough. Talking about the creative process, you have to, to talk to myself through this. I am going to put on a button, a rounded top on top of that clay piece. That's a pretty good button I got there. Now, my scrape is here. Use the edge. Pop that little guy off. Put that right on top, exactly where I want it. Whoop, see, it's sliding down. No, it didn't, it didn't hold. <laughs> but that's okay, because what we want to do. Moving that down. Now we're going to start using this clay to hold the assemblage together. Fusion. Now we got to do now is use our fingers to smooth it out and make it look correct. Next part we're going to do is we're going to look at the rotary and we need to, to pencil in the numbers on here. So what we're going to do is, now see I fixed the white on here, you're not going to see it in the photo shoot, but I'm going to go back now and I'm going to start penciling in the numbers and then we're going to paint those in in black. Okay, now that once I got my numbers penciled in there, and I looked at some old candlestick foams to see what they look like, now I'm going to paint them in. Once you got your numbers Put on there any corrections you need to do. I'm right now I'm using a a white. I'm using a shield white number 600 to correct anything that might not be the way I wanted it once. But before we put the button on there, we're going to have to create the illusional effect that this is now raised, and I'm using one part white and. 600 and I'm using a brand called acrylic 20 black here bring that down to a nice get my brush peaked so we're rolling it yeah we can do that see if we can create that illusion of depth. No, that brush is not working. Okay, so I'm going to use a different brush. Okay, so I've got my 001 brush. I've just mixed up and a shield 600 white plus an acrylic alpha black 20, and we're going to create the illusion of depth here. There. We want to do this all the way around a dial. The next part is going back into the field of clay. We want to make a button, a raised button. C 
see what this is going to look like. About the right size. Yes. Flyover sticks you can always can pop that right off and you can always mold back into place. Again, this will fuse right to what we've made. Now, next pieces that we have to do is that we need to start looking at what we had already made. We're going to now paint the phone part black. We might also want to look into what the phone looked like with the holes in it. So let's go from there. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to completely cover this in black. And I'm using an Alpha 999. Once you get your object all completely coated in black, I even put a ring of black in there so the light doesn't show through just in case the, the plastic is transparent. Uh, we're going to be putting a coat over this to replicate the foam thing. However, since this is going to be down, we may not see it in the photo shoot. I have to check with the photographer to see if this is going to work. And let's paint the candlestick too. Okay, and once you got your base completely coated, now we can work on top part. Since our part that holds the phone is completely dried, now we can start painting this in today. The other thing about Fila Clay is it's very easy to paint this with acrylics and then run it under a hair dryer. It'll be dried instantly. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this case. The other two elements of our phone is the first part is to put this cap, which I'm going to have to cut this out, and then we're going to feel it clay it in. And the other part is to put our cup right there. I'm using my bonsai shears to cut. This out after I marked it. that sits nice okay. and we're going to use our fila clay to make a ring around this and then attach it to this when we finish it should look like that there's the cap here's the seal which mimics the seal down here and then we'll be inserting our cup on here the next thing we need to do with our cup is we need to add a layer of foam to the base to build this up and then we're going to coat this with a coating of fila clay and then with an object we're going to punch the holes in there. There it is, I got uh, five or six layers of soft cardboard. Now let's add a layer of fila clay. That clay is just going to fuse right to the plastic. No need to use any type of glue or anything. A, this is, a, I tell you, it's a prop maker's dream product. Okay. Now usually on a candlestick phone, this area in here where the the listener would listen to would be a lot smaller but in our case we're going to do the best we have with what we got I think 
looks pretty good. There it is. The one extra element I'm going to be using is this cap of my acrylic paints. I'm going to actually push it in there in the center to make that shape. Now that creates more of an illusion as if it was the size and the depth of the cup. We're going to let this dry for 24 hours and then we're going to paint this completely black and then assemble it onto our foam. So we have all our pieces here today. We've got this, and we've got the dial, and we've got the earphone piece here. All of these came out beautifully. The one problem is I had put this on prematurely. So what we're going to do today, we're going to pop this off. and So very easily, slid that right down, put two pieces of paper in there. We're going to pop that right back on here, and we're going to paint it. Okay, very easily, this piece will go on there. I had to make a little notch to put that back on there. That's no problem, and we'll be using our hot glue gun. I'm gonna wait for about 10, 15 minutes before this heats up, and then we're gonna glue it back into place. Okay, that was just coat one. As you can see, instantly dried because I put it under the hairdryer. It only takes about 30 seconds. We're just gonna layer it up again. Now watch watch how the transparency just goes away. Okay, so now I'm bringing back my my button here. I'm going to paint the button. I'm using a very low amount of paint because I want to actually show that that is the button on there. There it is. Okay. Now that I've got that completely reassembled. It's on there nice and hard. Now we can go. We can paint the top. Interesting enough, this is not two coats. This is the other plastic. You did two coats. This is working fine with just one. Moving into the home stretch, now we got that in place. We're going to put this in here. One other step we need to do is we need to add our dial. We're going to hot glue that on. We're going to amp put our amplifier on there. And on top of that, look what we found in the prop shop. Yes, a very, very thick cord. It's a what? shoelace. And we're going to use this to make it look like it's a cable. I'm going to glue on my dial. Over here, we're also going to add an extra piece where the, the finger would stop. And I'm also going to glue on our amplifier. It's got a little piece of plastic on it. And we're going to assemble this. So let's see what this looks like when it's finished. Okay, let's look at our final piece here. Looks good. Now you can add some nicks and dents and scratches and other materials.